though, and it obliges. Goes up towards its alley, ready to run. Wasting no time holding them either. They're off and racing. Now, the favourite, Chimavet, wide out, is going to roll forward. Likewise, tick along, frequent fryer to Bella, Denzo and War Sidium as they sorted themselves out in the early part. Followed then by Pissarin going up on the outside in advance of Lady Hattress and Goward alone getting back with Trisum, Smoking Barrel and All on Black is next to last. Well, the favourites rolled right across here from the face of the field and goes to the lead as they worked into the back straight. Chimavet for Pateman out by a length and a half on uh, to Bella and they're running along in the early part. One and a half away then is Tick Along. Up running fourth War Sidium. Denzo's over on the inside of Trisum. Followed by Passer and getting back at the thousand. Then came Frequent Fryer. Back behind those came Lady Hattress. Go it alone with a couple behind it including All on Black and Smoking Barrel as they proceed past the 850. It's Chumavet that leads the way. The hot pot in control by a length but wasting no time. It had them running along out by a length. Running second to Bella back on the inside, tick along, occupying third spot. Three quarters, War City are now being asked to go. Over on the outside is Trisum taking off three deep, 550 metres out. Back on the rails then came Denzo. And then came Passerin. Back on the inside, next of all is Frequent Fryer. Then go it alone, Lady Hattress all on black and smoking barrel last. They're about to turn for the judge and shaken up in front. Jimovet led into the corner by two lengths on to Bella. Down on the inside, tick along, followed then by Try Sermon War City as they come to the 150. The favourites about to be swamped. Chimavet tackled by Try Sermon out near the middle of the track. Frequent Fryer is starting to finish full of running as well. Try Sermon and on the outside, Frequent Fryer coming. They'll split the line locked together, nothing in it at all between Frequent Fryer, Try Sermon. Leave this one to the judge. Behind them, Tick Along and also Go It Alone, which has made up many lengths along the inside from well back. Then War City Smoking Barrel followed home by Denzo. Jimovet put the cue back into the rack on straightening. Then Passerin. Then came all on black. Tabella's back there in the field. And the last to greet the judge, Lady Hattress. Terrific finish. Frequent Fryer. And Trisuum. Eight's got it. Trisuum. Eight Trisuum. Lucy Warwick has got the nose down, literally, on the line to beat Frequent Friar. Numbers are 8, 3, 2 and 1. 8, 3, 2 and 1. And uh, Chimavet stopping after being gobbled up halfway down the running with the Trisum, with Warwick taking off, peeling around the outside and uh, making her move at the 700. Frequent Friar charging down the outside in an attempt to grab it late and has lucked out by the proverbial nostril. Trisuum by Galar, a four-year-old mare from Dutchies Express. The Johnny Olstorn, trained by Paul Roberts, Lucy Warwick, beats the Justin Warwick trained frequent friar, ridden by Paul Harvey by Blackfriars out of Dream Along, and a Tick Along by Vital Equine from Only Glory, Brett Pope, Sean McGruddy, third. Gout alone, got to the line very well late. It's 150.44, the time 36.84, the last 600, and a nose, long neck, those margins. Win two coming from 10 for Trisum, and it was awfully, awfully close. But the favourite thereafter leading had them rolling along at a really good gallop on the step from 15 to 1800 and was found wanting when the pressure was really put to it at the top of the home straight. Next of the day, the Seppel Wines Handicap, 5.20 is starting time. Three, Gibraltar Dancer and 11, Neat Action, come out of race number seven. We'll take you back to the yard and uh, Britt to join us in just a tick here after this uh, victory. Paul Roberts waiting down there in the winner's enclosure. Fryer and uh, daughter beats dad to the line with the uh, trainer Paul Roberts joining Britt Taylor.
I have Paul with me now. Paul, we were standing here 18 days ago and you were talking about that Bunbury cancellation being a blessing in disguise for this mayor and she's put two on in a row. Yeah, she has. She's done really, really well and, uh, yeah, just um, her work's been <laughs> so good since the, uh, since the last run. She's just went home, ate everything and uh, just continued to improve and... Uh, yeah, that was, oh, I actually thought she'd got beaten today, but anyway, <laughs> we got one like that last time, so uh, two in a row will do, it's fantastic. It's uh, nice when your number is the one that comes up into the semaphore, that is for sure. Uh, Lucy getting the most out of her in the finish. What do you put down to, I guess, the, the change in form and just seeing her really being able to get the confidence to be able to win a couple now? Yeah, I think we've sort of worked a little bit out with her, um, you know, how to work her and how to, how to, Keep her fresh, keep her, keep her ready, you know, like the amount of work that you've got to give her and, and all that sort of thing and just keep her happy horse, you know. She's, uh, yeah, she's done really well and, uh, you know, she's sort of, uh, yeah, it's all just come together and a bit of maturity too, you know. She's always been a really immature horse and now she's matured and, yeah, no, she's turning into a really nice mare. Is it a case of backing off the work slightly uh, just to keep her on that fresher side? Yeah, um, it is. We just do different work with her, you know, like... Um, She's sort of trained a bit like a sprinter, really. You just, you know, she doesn't sort of gallop any harder than 400 metres ever. And, um, yeah, it's, it's just a matter of, of keeping her uh, fresh and, and uh, just, you know, having her happy. She's, she is, as I said, maturity has been a big thing with her. She's just started to eat really well and she just, you know, it just keeps on going. It's great. Whatever you're doing, it's working. Well done. Thank you very much. Paul Roberts there and Lucy Warwick is with Scott. She certainly is, Lucy, this mayor that you were able to guide to victory the other day. Did, were you coming into the race thinking that 1,800 metres would be up her alley? Yeah, for sure. She's, um, she's pretty crazy and um, she does kind of whatever you ask. And I didn't think she over raced over the 16 and she, um, she saw it out after and uh, she showed today. What sort of run did she get today? Um, she had a pretty cruisy run, although she was three deep for maybe the first third of the race and she got in, kept rolling. Um, I honestly thought I got beat, um, so I was pretty happy to come back and see the cameras on me. Coming into the race, did you have the choice between two? Yes, between the second horse. Well, congratulations, right choice, well done. Yes, thank you. Oh, she's pulled the right rein, Lucy Warwick. She would have been very worried for a second there when Paul came to her outside, but uh, lucky for her, she went the right way because there would be nothing worse uh, than... Uh, going the other way and uh, Frequent Fryer having got up for her. But luckily today it was Trisuum's day defeating Frequent Fryer and Tickalong.